13 short report where we're going to give you a recap of what's going on in the local real estate market here in Seattle. This is the heat map I show at the beginning of every short report. As you can see, it continues to be very red, low supply, which means that it is definitely a seller's advantage in, in the real estate market right now. Areas like Green Lake, 0.7 month supply. West Bellevue point or 1.7 month supply. So um, the average though over the entire area is in Seattle is 1.1 month supply and on the east side is 1.2 month supply, which actually is a bit of an it edged up to slightly from 1.1 month supply in April. But uh, as far as some of the key statistics on the east side, summary housing uh, of the housing supply is down 30%. Our closed sales are up 27%. Our median active list price is up 22% and our median closed sale price is up 11%. In Seattle, the housing supply is down 30%, closed sales are up 28%, which actually significantly re represents a 10% increase over last month. Uh, the median active list price up 13% and the median closed sale price is up 12%. So very positive if you're a seller. Um, as far as this month goes, I wanted to go back to what a uh, short report that I did in March where we looked at the affordability, which I think is a key driver between you know what's happening as far as appreciation goes and what buyers can afford. And um, historically, what we did is we went back to to 2000 and looked at the average list price of a home multiplying that by the interest rate at the time and then coming up with a payment which I think is the key driving force you know what can people afford when they're out there looking for homes um, so I think there's a lot left in this market as far as appreciation goes and as far as um, the opportunity to buy and, and still have a good good opportunity there and here's why basically in 2008 which is the height of the market where we knew we were on faulty ground the average list price was six hundred and sixty one thousand dollars and the interest rate was five point nine seven percent for a payment an interest only payment of three thousand two hundred ninety one dollars a month now we know historically the average has been two thousand three hundred and forty nine dollars per month so uh, what was great about 2012 if you look down in yellow there, the average list price was $502,000 and the, and the interest rate was 3.95% and that payment represented $1,653. So significantly below the historical average in almost half of what it was, well really half of what it was in 2008. Fast forward to 2013, um, our interest rates are certainly driving the buyer demand out there in a, in a pretty amazing way, but there have been some significant adjustments. So even since March, the, uh, the average interest rate was 3.57% today that's 4.09%. So we saw about a half a percent uptick in interest rates. And at the same time, we went from an average list price of 572,434 to 618,000. Uh, so that payment, if we look at that, that 4.09% to the $618,000 average list price, we're at 2106. So the good news is, historically, we're still below where we were, but uh, we're trending up, so affordability is getting is getting tighter and tighter. Um, this graph I thought I'd throw in is, is just showing that as far as where we're at today, we're almost back to 2007 prices. Uh, not quite. We still have a little ways to go. We're about we're about 10% off. Um, the payment, though, as you can see, we're below what the average payment historically has been since 2000. Uh, so I, I think. That's positive news for buyers as well. And then if we look at the interest rate, of course, we bounced off the bottom. I mentioned that half percent uh, increase in rates, but that is having an effect on affordability. So, um, so anyway, still I think some good opportunities, but the trends are definitely showing that affordability is going to be less and less for those buyers in, over the next several years. Um, so again, just to recap, the 13-year average, $23.49 per month. In 2008, which was our high, where we, we knew we had a you know faulty ground as far as our, our economy was going, um, and we were over basically oversold, uh, $3,291 per month. In 2012, it hit a low of $16.53 per month. The average, again, $23.49, this month is $21.06. So today we are 11% below the historical average. However, since March, we are up 23.7%, so it's a little bit more expensive than it was in March to live. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed our short report for the month. Please give me a call and let me know if you have any friends or family that are looking for a home or need real estate help. I appreciate all your referrals. Have a great month.